Hello friends, today we are going to see the traversals of a binary tree. So let's see the method. So this is the tree, uh, this is the root, this is the left node and this is the right node of the root. Now in pre-order we first write the root then the left child and right child. So in this case A is the root. B is the left child and C is the right child. So let us write pre-order traversal of this tree. So it will be A, then left is B and right is C. Then let us write post-order traversal. It is left, right and then root. So see the difference. In pre-order root is taken first. And in post order root is taken last. So the post order traversal is B that is the left child then right child C and then root A. Now in order traversal. In in order traversal root is in the middle. So the traversal is left root and right. So let's write it B A and C. So this is how we perform traversals on a binary tree and now we will see all these examples and we will traverse through these examples. So in all other YouTube videos of traversals on a binary tree you will find a technical explanation of traversing the binary tree. But today I will tell you a non-technical method but this method is super simple and super accurate. So let's see how we do that. So first of all you just uh, draw the traversal. So you just observe how I draw the tra traversal of this binary tree. So first I will start. So I have started then from the go from the left of the binary tree so this is my traversal you can say this is my journey through this binary tree so it is the end of the leftmost node then again I go return then I return then again I go down with the flow of, uh, um, as I encounter the nodes, I am going with the flow. So again, then go here. So this is the traversal. So here, in pre-order, in this traversal, whenever you visit the node at first, you have to write the node in the answer. So see, the traversal started from here. I will give it a direction so that you can understand how the traversal was made. So A is visited, so I write it. Then B is visited first, then I write it. Then the traversal goes like this. D is visited. I write D then you see now B is visited but it is not the first time it is the second time so we have to ignore it then A is visited second time so we have to ignore it then C now this is the first time we are visiting C so we have to write it in answer E yes first time visited write it in answer then C this is the second time we are visiting C so we should not write it then F yes first time visit and then C this is the second time A this is the third time visiting A so we ignore it and the traversal is over so this is how we traverse through the tree now let's see for this tree I will first draw the traversal. Go with the flow as you encounter the nodes. So 
this is the direction of the traversing a is visited first b is visited first then f is visited first then b again a again then c is visited first d is visited first e is visited first then b, b again c again a again so we ignore the nodes which are visited second time so this is our pre order traversal of this tree so let's make a traversal of this then i write it a visited first b visited first c visited first then again c visited b again visited a visited so we ignore them for this so here a is visited first then b visited first c visited first so this is the pre order traversal for this this is the pre order traversal so this is how we perform pre order traversal of the tree now let's go for post order traversal so drawing of the traversal is same in pre order traversal and post order traversal so let's first draw the traversal so we draw it so this is how we go yes we have drawn the traversal now and now let's see how to write the post order traversal so the trick in post order traversal is that you have to write the node in the answer when you leave the node leaving the node means that you are never going to visit that node again so let's see i first mark the direction okay so yes a so c whether this is the first and last visit no you can see in the traversal a is again visited so i ignore a for the first time now i come to b c whether this is the last visit no in this traversal b is again visited so i ignore it d no this is not the last visit here again we are visiting d h yes for h this is the last visit because we are not again visiting h so we write h in the answer so this is how we go now d c this is the last visit to d again the uh, again the contour is not visiting d so we write d then this traversal goes yes b this is the last visit now a c whether this is the last visit is this the last visit no because this traversal goes like this and again it visits a here so this is not the last last visit to a so we will ignore it we will not write it so c yes yeah, this is not the last visit to c because c is again visited here then go go ahead e yes this is the last visit to e c is this the last visit to c no because here again c is visited so we have to ignore it we will not write it now we come go ahead and g yes for g this is the last visit for f yes this is the last visit now for c yes now this is the last visit so we write c and for a yes this is the last visit so we write a so this is the post order traversal so this is how we go for post order traversal let's see the examples now i write the traversal uh, i draw the traversal first i mark the direction 
A, this is not the last visit. B, not the last visit. F, yes, it is the last visit. B, yes, here it is the last visit. A, not the last visit. C, not the last visit. Because again C, here we are going to visit. So, not the last visit. G, uh, first D, not the last visit. G, yes, the last visit. Then D, not the last visit. E, yes, the last visit. Now, the contour returns here. G, D, yes, this is the last visit. Go here, C, yes, this is the last visit. A, yes, this is the last visit. So, this is how we find out the post order traversal. Now, for this C. A. Uh, is it the last visit? No. B. Is it the last visit? No. C. Is it the last visit? Yes. This is the last visit. Now B. Yes. This is the last visit. A. Yes. This is the last visit to A. Because after that the traversal ends. Now here. A. Is this the last visit? No, B, no, C, yes, B, here B, yes, and A, yes. So, this is the post order traversal. So, this is so simple that you can write the pre order and post order traversal without even following the technical rules. This is going, actually, this is going technically. But writing the traversal or drawing the traversal is not uh, taught in the books. It is not theoretical. So let's go for in order traversal. Now there is a slightly different method for in order traversal. You should not draw the traversal here. You should only draw from the left side. You should draw straight lines from the node. You have to draw straight lines from all the nodes towards uh, downward direction, means towards the ground. So, see, I, I make uh, a vertical line, then here I will make it a direction. I will add, I am drawing the lines in downward direction. And go from left, whatever the node you encounter, just draw the line without intersecting any other line. This is very important. So the straight lines should not straight lines should not intersect with each other. Now A E C F. So write D, then this is B. This is A, this is E, this is C, and this is F. That's it. This is the in order traversal. So now let's go for another example F, B, A. Now you see here. Your line cannot go like this. You should, should not intersect with any other line or any other uh, tree line. So, D. So let's see F, B, A, C, E, and D. So this is the in order traversal. Now here C go from the left. So C, B, A, C, B, A. This is the in order traversal. Now here go from the left A. B, C. So this is the A, B, C is the in order traversal of the tree. So this is how we write the traversals of the tree. Now technically I will explain you the program to write all the traversals. So let's see the program now. So here this is the pre order traversal code. You can observe in this tree. These are the three steps that is 1, 2 and 3. These three steps are going to be executed at every node in this tree. 
So let us see what are these three steps for the pre-order traversal. So in this code, this is the first step, second step and the third step. According to the pre-order rule, we have to print the root first, then we have to go to the left and then we have to go to the right of that node. So let us execute these three steps. So the node A that is the root is passed as a parameter to the pre-order function. Now the first step is printing A. The first step is print root that is A. Now the second step is go to the left. So go to the left. So the second step is go to the left. So that is over now and here again these three steps are there. So the first step is print. So that is B. Then second step is go to the left. So again here are three steps. One is print. So D. We are writing D. Then second step is check left. It is null. So go to the third step. Check right. It is null. So all the three steps are over. Now we return. So we return to B. Here the third step is remaining. So we go to the third step that is going to the right. So here uh, again three steps are there. So check first step that is right E. Then second step is going to the left and third step is going to the right. So all the three steps are over. Return. Here all the three steps are over. So return and here is the third step. So third step is going to the right. So here all the three steps are remaining. So first step is right C. Second step go to the left. Then first step right F. Second step is uh, go to the left is null. Then third step is going to the right. It is null. So all the three steps are over. Then we return. So here third step is remaining. So we go to the right. First step is writing the writing G. So first step is over. Second is check left. It is null. Third is check right. It is null. So we return. Here all the three steps are over. So we return. Here all the three steps are over. So we return. So in this way, this recursive function is executed. Now in order and pre order both are executed in the same way. You can try these two functions yourself. I would like to tell one important thing here that in any binary tree code this is the execution flow which is common in all the codes means you can uh, you can just master this execution flow and you can solve any binary tree problem. Hey friends. Please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.